Why do cats have whiskers? The function of a cat's whiskers is not fully understood. They are thought to have something to do with the sense of touch. Removing them can disturb a cat for some time. Some people believe that the whiskers act as antennae in the dark. Enabling the cat to identify things it cannot see. The whiskers may help the cat to pinpoint the direction from which an odor is coming. In addition, the cat is thought to point some of its whiskers downwards. To guide it when jumping or running over uneven terrain at night. Why does hair turn grey as part of the aging process? The pigment in hair, as well as in the skin, is called melanin. There are two types of melanin, eumelanin, which is dark brown or black, and pheomelanin, which is reddish yellow. Both are made by a type of cell called a melanocyte that resides in the hair bulb and along the bottom of the outer layer of skin, or epidermis. The melanocytes pass this pigment to adjoining epidermal cells called keratinocytes, which produce the protein keratin hair's chief component. When the keratinocytes undergo their scheduled death, they retain the melanin. Thus, the pigment that is visible in the hair and in the skin lies in these dead keratinocyte bodies. Gray hair is simply hair with less melanin, and white hair has no melanin at all. It remains unclear as to how hair loses its pigment. In the early stages of graying, the melanocytes are still present but inactive. Later they seem to decrease in number. Genes control this lack of deposition of melanin. In some families, many members' hair turns white while they are still in their twenties. Generally speaking, among Caucasians 50% are grey by age 50. There is, however, wide variation. How many hairs does the average person have on his or her head? The amount of hair on the head varies from one individual to another. An average person has about 100,000 hairs on their scalp. Blondes 140,000, brunettes 155,000, and redheads only 85,000. Most people shed between 50 to 100 hairs daily. How does the anatomical usage of the word arm differ from the common usage? Anatomically, the word arm refers only to the humerus, the long bone between the shoulder and the elbow. Common usage refers to the entire length of the limb from the shoulder to the wrist as the arm. What controls the formation of the color points in a Siamese cat?
the color points are due to the presence of a recessive gene that operates at cooler temperatures. Limiting the color to well-defined areas the mask, ears, tail, lower legs. And pause the places at the far reaches of the cardiovascular system of the cat. There are four classic varieties of Siamese cats. Seal points have a pale fawn to cream colored coat with seal brown markings. Blue points are bluish white with slate blue markings. Chocolate points are ivory colored with milk chocolate brown colored markings. Lilac points have a white coat and pinkish gray markings. There are also some newer varieties with red, cream, and tabby points. The Siamese originated in Thailand, once called Siam, and arrived in England in the 1880s. They are medium sized and have long, slender, lithe bodies, with long heads and long, tapering tails. Extroverted and affectionate, Siamese are known for their loud, distinctive voices, which are impossible to ignore. What information can a forensic scientist determine from a human hair? A single strand of human hair can identify the age and sex of the owner. Drugs and narcotics the individual has taken or used, up to 90 days previously, and through DNA evaluation and sample comparisons, from whose head the hair came. What information can a forensic scientist determine from a human hair? A single strand of human hair can identify the age and sex of the owner. Drugs and narcotics the individual has taken or used, up to 90 days previously, and through DNA evaluation and sample comparisons, from whose head the hair came. What are the functions of the circulatory system? The cardiovascular system provides a transport system between the heart, lungs, and tissue cells. The most important function is to supply nutrients to tissues and remove waste products. What are the functions of the circulatory system? The cardiovascular system provides a transport system between the heart, lungs, and tissue cells. The most important function is to supply nutrients to tissues and remove waste products. What is the difference between the cardiovascular system and the circulatory system? The cardiovascular system refers to the heart, cardio, and blood vessels, vascular. The circulatory system is a more general term encompassing the blood. Blood vessels, heart, lymph, and lymph vessels.
what is the difference between the cardiovascular system and the circulatory system? The cardiovascular system refers to the heart, cardio, and blood vessels, vascular. The circulatory system is a more general term encompassing the blood, blood vessels, heart, lymph, and lymph vessels. Which structures and organs constitute the cardiovascular system? Technically speaking, the structures of the cardiovascular system are the heart and blood vessels. Blood, a connective tissue, plays a major role in the cardiovascular system and is usually discussed within the context of the cardiovascular system. Which structures and organs constitute the cardiovascular system? Technically speaking, the structures of the cardiovascular system are the heart and blood vessels. Blood, a connective tissue, plays a major role in the cardiovascular system. And is usually discussed within the context of the cardiovascular system. How hard does the heart work? The heart squeezes out about 2 ounces, 71 grams of blood at every beat and daily pumps at least 2,500 gallons, 9,450 liters, of blood. On the average, the adult heart beats 70 to 75 times a minute. The rate of the heartbeat is determined in part by the size of the organism. Generally, the smaller the size, the faster the heartbeat. Thus women's hearts beat 6 to 8 beats per minute faster than men's hearts do. At birth the heart of a baby can beat as fast as 130 times per minute. How hard does the heart work? The heart squeezes out about 2 ounces, 71 grams of blood at every beat and daily pumps at least 2,500 gallons, 9,450 liters, of blood. On the average, the adult heart beats 70 to 75 times a minute. The rate of the heartbeat is determined in part by the size of the organism. Generally, the smaller the size, the faster the heartbeat. Thus women's hearts beat 6 to 8 beats per minute faster than men's hearts do. At birth the heart of a baby can beat as fast as 130 times per minute. Does your heart stop beating when you sneeze? The heart does not stop when you sneeze. Sneezing, however, does affect the cardiovascular system. It causes a change in pressure inside the chest.
This change in pressure affects the blood flow to the heart, which in turn affects the heart's rhythm. Therefore, a sneeze does produce a harmless delay between one heartbeat and the next. Often misinterpreted as a skip beat. Does your heart stop beating when you sneeze? The heart does not stop when you sneeze. Sneezing, however, does affect the cardiovascular system. It causes a change in pressure inside the chest. This change in pressure affects the blood flow to the heart, which in turn affects the heart's rhythm. Therefore, a sneeze does produce a harmless delay between one heartbeat and the next. Often misinterpreted as a skip beat. What is the normal pH of blood? The normal pH of arterial blood is 7.4 while the pH of venous blood is about 7.35 arterial blood has a slightly higher pH because it has less carbon dioxide. What is the normal pH of blood? The normal pH of arterial blood is 7.4 while the pH of venous blood is about 7.35 arterial blood has a slightly higher pH because it has less carbon dioxide. What is the amount of carbon dioxide found in normal blood? Carbon dioxide normally ranges from 19 to 50 millimeters per liter in arterial blood and 22 to 30 millimeters per liter in venous blood. What is the amount of carbon dioxide found in normal blood? Carbon dioxide normally ranges from 19 to 50 millimeters per liter in arterial blood and 22 to 30 millimeters per liter in venous blood. How much blood does the average sized adult human have? An adult man has 5.3 to 6.4 quarts, or 1.5 gallons, 5 to 6 liters, of blood. While an adult woman has 4.5 to 5.3 quarts, or 1.2 gallons, 4 to 5 liters. Differences are due to the sex of the individual, body size. Fluid and electrolyte concentrations and amount of body fat. How much blood does the average sized adult human have? An adult man has 5.3 to 6.4 quarts, 
or 1.5 gallons, 5 to 6 liters, of blood. While an adult woman has 4.5 to 5.3 quarts, or 1.2 gallons, 4 to 5 liters. Differences are due to the sex of the individual, body size. Fluid and electrolyte concentrations, and amount of body fat. How many miles of blood vessels are contained in the body? If they could be laid end to end, the blood vessels arteries, arterioles, capillaries, venules, and veins would span about 60,000 miles, 96,500 kilometers. This would be enough to encircle the earth more than two times. How many miles of blood vessels are contained in the body? If they could be laid end to end, the blood vessels arteries, arterioles, capillaries, venules and veins would span about 60,000 miles, 96,500 kilometers. This would be enough to encircle the earth more than two times. Why is blood sticky? Blood is sticky because it is denser than water and about five times more viscous than water. Blood is viscous mainly due to the red blood cells. When the number of these cells increases, the blood becomes thicker and flows slower. Conversely, if the number of red blood cells decreases, blood thins and flows faster. Why is blood sticky? Blood is sticky because it is denser than water and about five times more viscous than water. Blood is viscous mainly due to the red blood cells. When the number of these cells increases, the blood becomes thicker and flows slower. Conversely, if the number of red blood cells decreases, blood thins and flows faster. What is the largest artery in the human body? The aorta is the largest artery in the human body. In adults, it is approximately the size of a garden hose. Its internal diameter is 1 inch, 2.5 centimeters, thick. What is the largest artery in the human body? The aorta is the largest artery in the human body. In adults, it is approximately the size of a garden hose. Its internal diameter is 1 inch, 2.5 centimeters, thick. What are the functions of the circulatory system?
the cardiovascular system provides a transport system between the heart, lungs, and tissue cells. The most important function is to supply nutrients to tissues and remove waste products. What is the matrix in blood? Blood is a loose connective tissue whose matrix is a liquid called plasma. Blood consists of red blood cells, erythrocytes, white blood cells, leukocytes, and platelets, thrombocytes, which are tiny pieces of bone marrow cell. Plasma also contains water, salts, sugars, lipids, and amino acids. Blood is approximately 55% plasma and 45% formed elements. Who first used fingerprints as a means of identification? It is generally acknowledged that Francis Galton, 1822-1911, was the first to classify fingerprints. However, his basic ideas were further developed by Sir Edward Henry. 1850-1931, who devised a system based on the pattern of the thumbprint. In 1901 in England, Henry established the first fingerprint. Bureau with Scotland Yard called the fingerprint branch. What is the largest artery in the human body? The aorta is the largest artery in the human body. In adults, it is approximately the size of a garden hose. Its internal diameter is 1 inch, 2.5 centimeters, thick. What is the purpose of goosebumps? The puckering of the skin that takes place when goose flesh is formed is the result of contraction of the muscle fibers in the skin. This muscular activity will produce more heat and raises the temperature of the body. What is the normal pH of blood? The normal pH of arterial blood is 7.4 while the pH of venous blood is about 7.35 arterial blood has a slightly higher pH because it has less carbon dioxide. What percent of human body weight is water? The human body is 61.8% water by weight. Water is found as every tissue. What is the hardest substance in the body? Tooth enamel is the hardest substance in the body. 
it is composed of 96% mineral salts and 4% organic matter and water. What organs are included in the integumentary system? The integumentary system, from the Latin integer, meaning to cover, includes skin, hair, glands, and nails. The main function of the integumentary system is to provide the body with a protective barrier between the organs inside the body and the changing environment outside. Does your heart stop beating when you sneeze? The heart does not stop when you sneeze. Sneezing, however, does affect the cardiovascular system. It causes a change in pressure inside the chest. This change in pressure affects the blood flow to the heart, which in turn affects the heart's rhythm. Therefore, a sneeze does produce a harmless delay between one heartbeat and the next. Often misinterpreted as a skipped beat. Are freckles dangerous? Freckles, those tan or brown spots on the skin, are small areas of increased skin pigment or melanin. There is a genetic tendency to develop freckles. And parents with freckles often pass this trait down to their children. Freckles usually occur on the face, arms, and other parts of the body that are exposed to the sun. Freckles themselves pose no health risks. But individuals who freckle easily are at an increased risk for skin cancer. How strong is bone? Bone is one of the strongest materials found in nature. It is a rigid connective tissue that has a matrix of collagen fibers embedded in calcium salts. Most of the skeletal system is composed of bone, which provides support for muscle attachment and protects the internal organs. One cubic inch of bone can withstand loads of at least 19,000 pounds, 8,626 kilograms, which is approximately the weight of five standard size pickup trucks. This is roughly four times the strength of concrete. Bone's resistance to load is equal to that of aluminum and light steel. Ounce for ounce, bone is actually stronger than steel and reinforced concrete. Since steel bars of comparable size would weigh four or five times as much as bone. What is the difference between the cardiovascular system and the circulatory system? The cardiovascular system refers to the heart, cardio, and blood vessels, vascular. 
The circulatory system is a more general term encompassing the blood. Blood vessels, heart, lymph, and lymph vessels. What are the four humors of the body? The four constituent humors of the body were identified as blood, phlegm, yellow bile, and black bile, originating in the heart, brain, liver, and spleen, respectively. Empedocles of Agrigentum, 504-433 BCE, probably originated the theory in which he equated the body fluids to the four elements of nature, earth, fire, air, and water. These humors could determine the health of the body and the personality of the person as well. To be in good health the humors should be in harmony within the body. Ill health could be remedied by treatments to realign the humors and re-establish the harmony. What determines skin color? Three factors contribute to skin color. One, the amount and kind, yellow, reddish-brown, or black. Of melanin in the epidermis. Two, the amount of carotene, yellow, in the epidermis and subcutaneous tissue and 3, the amount of oxygen bound to hemoglobin, red blood cell pigment, in the dermal blood cells. Skin color is genetically determined, for the most part. Differences in skin color result not from the number of melanocytes an individual has, but rather from the amount of melanin produced by the melanocytes and the size and distribution of the pigment granules. Although darker-skinned people have slightly more melanocytes than those who are light-skinned. The distribution of melanin in the higher levels of the epidermis contributes to their skin color. How much skin does a person shed in one year? An average man or woman sheds about 600,000 particles of skin per hour, which is approximately 1.5 pounds, 680 grams, per year. Using this figure, by the age of 70, a person will have lost 105 pounds, 47.6 kilograms, of skin which is equivalent to two odhirds of their entire body weight. How hard does the heart work? The heart squeezes out about two ounces, 71 grams of blood at every beat and daily pumps at least 2,500 gallons, 9,450 liters, of blood. On the average, the adult heart beats 70 to 75 times a minute. The rate of the heartbeat is determined in part by the size of the organism. Generally, the smaller the size, the faster the heartbeat. Thus women's hearts beat 6 to 8 beats per minute faster than men's hearts do. At birth the heart of a baby can beat as fast as 130 times per minute.
How many muscles does it take to produce a smile and a frown? Seventeen muscles are used in smiling while the average frown uses forty-three. What is the amount of carbon dioxide found in normal blood? Carbon dioxide normally ranges from 19 to 50 millimeters per liter. In arterial blood and 22 to 30 millimeters per liter in venous blood. What type of cell is found in nerve tissue? Neurons are specialized cells that produce and conduct impulses, or nerve signals. Neurons consist of a cell body, which contains a nucleus and two types of cytoplasmic extensions, dendrites and axons. Dendrites are thin, highly branched extensions that receive signals. Axons are tubular extensions that transmit nerve impulses away from the cell body, often to another neuron. Nerve tissue also has supporting cells, called neuroglia or glial cells, which nourish the neurons. Insulate the dendrites and axons, and promote quicker transmission of signals. Who coined the term homeostasis? Walter Bradford Cannon, 1871-1945, who elaborated on Claude Bernard's concept of the milieu interior. Interior environment, used the term homeostasis to describe the body's ability to maintain a relative constancy in its internal environment. How thick is skin? The thickness of skin varies, depending on where it is found on the body. Skin averages 0.05 inches, 0.127 centimeters, in thickness. The thinnest skin is found in the eyelids and is less than 0.002 inches, 0.005 centimeters. Thick, while the thickest skin is on the upper back, 0.2 inches or 0.5 centimeters. Which structures and organs constitute the cardiovascular system? Technically speaking, the structures of the cardiovascular system are the heart and blood vessels. Blood, a connective tissue, plays a major role in the cardiovascular system and is usually discussed within the context of the cardiovascular system. How many miles of blood vessels are contained in the body? If they could be laid end to end, the blood vessels arteries, arterioles. 
capillaries, venules, and veins would span about 60,000 miles, 96,500 kilometers. This would be enough to encircle the Earth more than two times. What are the types of human body shapes? The best known example of body typing, classifying body shape in terms of physiological functioning, behavior, and disease resistance, was devised by American psychologist William Herbert Sheldon, 1898-1977 Sheldon's system, known as somatotyping, distinguishes three types of body shapes. Ignoring overall size, endomorph, mesomorph, and ectomorph. The extreme endomorph tends to be spherical, a round head, a large, fat abdomen. Weak penguin-like arms and legs, with heavy upper arms and thighs but slender wrists and ankles. The extreme mesomorph is characterized by a massive cubical head. Broad shoulders and chest, and heavy muscular arms and legs. The extreme ectomorph has a thin face, receding chin. High forehead, a thin, narrow chest and abdomen, and spindly arms and legs. In Sheldon's system there are mixed body types, determined by component ratings. Sheldon assumed a close relationship between body build and behavior and temperament. This system of body typing has many critics. Which chemicals constitute the human body? About 24 elements are used by the body in its functions and processes. Potassium, sulfur, sodium, chlorine, and magnesium each occur at 0.35% or less. There are also traces of iron, cobalt, copper, manganese, iodine, zinc, fluorine, boron, aluminum, molybdenum, silicon, chromium, and selenium. What is dermatoglyphics? Dermatoglyphics, the study of fingerprints, recognizes three basic patterns of fingerprints. They are arches, loops, and whorls. The lines or ridges of an arch run from one side of the finger to the other with an upward curve in the center. In a loop, the ridges begin on one side loop around the center, and return to the same side. The ridges of a whirl form a circular pattern. Dermatoglyphics is of interest in such diverse fields as medicine, anthropology, and criminology. Who is considered the founder of physiology? As an experimenter, Claude Bernard, 1813-1878, enriched physiology by his introduction of numerous new concepts into the field. The most famous of these concepts is that of the milieu interior or internal environment. 
the complex functions of the various organs are closely interrelated and are all directed to maintaining the constancy of internal conditions despite external changes. All cells exist in this aqueous, blood and lymph, internal environment, which bathes the cells and provides a medium for the elementary exchange of nutrients and waste material. Why does excessive exercise cause muscles to become stiff and sore? During vigorous exercise, the circulatory system cannot supply oxygen to muscle fibers quickly enough. In the absence of oxygen, the muscle cells begin to produce lactic acid, which accumulates in the muscle. It is this buildup of lactic acid that causes soreness and stiffness. What are the levels of structural organization in vertebrate animals, including humans? Every vertebrate animal has four major levels of hierarchical organization. Cell, tissue, organ, and organ system. Each level in the hierarchy is of increasing complexity. And all organ systems work together to maintain life. What information can a forensic scientist determine from a human hair? A single strand of human hair can identify the age and sex of the owner. Drugs and narcotics the individual has taken or used, up to 90 days previously, and through DNA evaluation and sample comparisons, from whose head the hair came. What are the three types of muscle tissue? There are three types of muscle tissue in the body. 1. Smooth muscle, 2. Skeletal muscle, and 3. Cardiac muscle. Muscle tissue, consisting of bundles of long cells called muscle fibers, is specialized for contraction. It enables body movements, as well as the movement of substances within the body. How much blood does the average sized adult human have? An adult man has 5.3 to 6.4 quarts, or 1.5 gallons, 5 to 6 liters, of blood. While an adult woman has 4.5 to 5.3 quarts, or 1.2 gallons, 4 to 5 liters. Differences are due to the sex of the individual, body size, fluid and electrolyte concentrations, and amount of body fat. Why is blood sticky? Blood is sticky because it is denser than water and about five times more viscous than water. 
blood is viscous mainly due to the red blood cells. When the number of these cells increases, the blood becomes thicker and flows slower. Conversely, if the number of red blood cells decreases, blood thins and flows faster. What are the various layers of the skin? Skin is a tissue membrane that consists of layers of epithelial and connective tissues. The outer layer of the skin's epithelial tissue is the epidermis and the inner layer of connective tissue is the dermis. The epidermis layer is replaced continually as new cells, produced in the stratum basale, mature and are pushed to the surface by the newer cells beneath, the entire epidermis is replaced in about 27 days. The dermis, the lower layer, contains nerve endings, sweat glands, hair follicles, and blood vessels. The upper portion of the dermis has small, finger-like projections called papillae, which extend into the upper layer. The patterns of ridges and grooves visible on the skin of the soles, palms, and fingertips are formed from the tops of the dermal papillae. Which muscle is the most variable among humans? The platysma muscle in the side of the neck is probably the most variable. It can cover the whole region in some people while in others. It is strap-like or in a few situations it is missing completely. What is the largest vein in the human body? The largest vein in the human body is the inferior vena cava. The vein that returns blood from the lower half of the body back to the heart. What is the largest vein in the human body? The largest vein in the human body is the inferior vena cava. The vein that returns blood from the lower half of the body back to the heart. Why does blood in the veins look blue? Since venous blood is oxygen-poor blood, it is not as bright red as arterial blood. It appears as a deep, dark red, almost purplish color. Seeing blue blood in veins through the skin is a combination of light passing through the skin and the oxygen-poor blood. Why does blood in the veins look blue? Since venous blood is oxygen-poor blood, it is not as bright red as arterial blood. It appears as a deep, dark red, almost purplish color. Seeing blue blood in veins through the skin is a combination. 
of light passing through the skin and the oxygen poor blood. How big are capillaries? The diameter of a capillary is about 0.0003 inches, 0.0076 millimeters. Which is just about the same as a single red blood cell. A capillary is only about 0.04 inches, 1 millimeter, long. If all the capillaries in a human body were placed end to end, the collective length would be approximately 25,000 miles, 46,325 kilometers. Which is slightly more than the circumference of the Earth at the equator, 24,900 miles, 46,139 kilometers. How big are capillaries? The diameter of a capillary is about 0.0003 inches, 0.0076 millimeters. Which is just about the same as a single red blood cell. A capillary is only about 0.04 inches, 1 millimeter, long. If all the capillaries in a human body were placed end to end, the collective length would be approximately 25,000 miles, 46,325 kilometers. Which is slightly more than the circumference of the Earth at the equator, 24,900 miles, 46,139 kilometers. Who discovered the ABO system of typing blood? The Austrian physician Karl Landsteiner, 1868-1943 Discovered the ABO system of blood types in 1909. Landsteiner had investigated why blood transfused from one individual was sometimes successful and other times resulted in the death of the patient. He theorized that there must be several different blood types. A person with one type of blood will have antibodies to the antigens in the blood. Type they do not have. If a transfusion occurs between two individuals with different blood types. The red blood cells will clump together, blocking the blood vessels. Who discovered the ABO system of typing blood? The Austrian physician Karl Landsteiner, 1868-1943 Discovered the ABO system of blood types in 1909. Landsteiner had investigated why blood transfused from one individual was sometimes successful and other times resulted in the death of the patient. He theorized that there must be several different blood types. A person with one type of blood will have antibodies to the antigens in the blood. Type they do not have. If a transfusion occurs between two individuals with different blood types. 
the red blood cells will clump together, blocking the blood vessels. What are the preferred and permissible blood types for transfusions? The table below lists the blood types that are best matched with other blood types. What are the preferred and permissible blood types for transfusions? The table below lists the blood types that are best matched with other blood types. Which blood type is the universal donor and which is the universal recipient? Persons with blood type O are universal donors. They are able to donate blood to anyone. Persons with blood type of and are universal recipients. They are able to receive blood from any donor. Which blood type is the universal donor and which is the universal recipient? Persons with blood type O are universal donors. They are able to donate blood to anyone. Persons with blood type of and are universal recipients. They are able to receive blood from any donor. What is the Rh factor? In addition to the ABO system of blood types, Blood types can also be grouped by the rhesus factor, or Rh factor, an inherited blood characteristic. Discovered independently in 1939 by Philip Levine, 1900 to 1987, and R.E. Stetson and in 1940 by Carl Landsteiner and A.S. Wiener. The Rh system classifies blood as either having the Rh factor or lacking it. Pregnant women are carefully screened for the Rh factor. If a mother is found to be Rh negative, the father is also screened. Parents with incompatible Rh factors can lead to potentially fatal blood problems in newborn infants. The condition can be treated with a series of blood transfusions. What is the Rh factor? In addition to the ABO system of blood types, blood types can also be grouped by the rhesus factor, or Rh factor, an inherited blood characteristic. Discovered independently in 1939 by Philip Levine, 1900 to 1987, and R.E. Stetson and in 1940 by Carl Landsteiner and A.S. Wiener. The Rh system classifies blood as either having the Rh factor or lacking it. Pregnant women are carefully screened for the Rh factor. If a mother is found to be Rh negative, the father is also screened. 
parents with incompatible RH factors can lead to potentially fatal blood problems in newborn infants. The condition can be treated with a series of blood transfusions. What are the blood group combinations that can normally be used? To prove that a man is not the father of a particular child? No child can acquire a gene, and consequently a blood grouping, if it is not possessed by either parent. What are the blood group combinations that can normally be used? To prove that a man is not the father of a particular child? No child can acquire a gene, and consequently a blood grouping, if it is not possessed by either parent. How often can a person donate blood? Blood is one of the most easily donated tissues. According to the American Red Cross, a person in good health who weights at least 110 pounds, 50 kilograms, can donate blood every 56 days. Platelets may be donated every 7 days up to 24 times per year. Plasma may be donated every 28 days up to 13 times per year. How often can a person donate blood? Blood is one of the most easily donated tissues. According to the American Red Cross, a person in good health who weights at least 110 pounds, 50 kilograms, can donate blood every 56 days. Platelets may be donated every 7 days up to 24 times per year. Plasma may be donated every 28 days up to 13 times per year. What are the primary functions of the lymphatic system? The lymphatic system consists of the lymphatic vessels, lymph, and lymphoid organs. It is responsible for maintaining proper fluid balance in tissues and blood. In addition to its role defending the body against disease-causing agents. The primary functions of the lymphatic system are, 1, to collect the interstitial fluid that consists of Excess water and proteins and return it to the blood, 2, to transport lipids and other nutrients that are unable to enter the bloodstream directly, and 3, to protect the body from foreign cells and microorganisms. What are the primary functions of the lymphatic system? The lymphatic system consists of the lymphatic vessels, lymph, and lymphoid organs. It is responsible for maintaining proper fluid balance in tissues and blood. 
in addition to its role defending the body against disease-causing agents. The primary functions of the lymphatic system are, 1, to collect the interstitial fluid that consists of excess water and proteins and return it to the blood, 2, to transport lipids and other nutrients that are unable to enter the bloodstream directly, and 3, to protect the body from foreign cells and microorganisms. What are the functions of the spleen? The primary function of the spleen is the filtering of blood and removal of abnormal blood cells by phagocytosis. The spleen also stores iron from worn out blood cells which is then returned to the circulation and used by the bone marrow to produce new blood cells. The immune reaction begins in the spleen with the activation of immune response by B cells and T cells in response to antigens in the blood. What are the functions of the spleen? The primary function of the spleen is the filtering of blood and removal of abnormal blood cells by phagocytosis. The spleen also stores iron from worn out blood cells, which is then returned to the circulation and used by the bone marrow to produce new blood cells. The immune reaction begins in the spleen with the activation of immune response by B cells and T cells in response to antigens in the blood. How serious is damage to the spleen? Damage to the spleen, which is often the result of an injury caused by a blow to the left side of the abdomen, may be life-threatening. Since the spleen is a fragile organ, an injury can easily rupture it, resulting in serious internal bleeding, hemorrhaging, circulatory shock, and even death. Once the spleen ruptures, the only remedy is to surgically remove it in a procedure called a splenectomy. How serious is damage to the spleen? Damage to the spleen, which is often the result of an injury caused by a blow to the left side of the abdomen, may be life-threatening. Since the spleen is a fragile organ, an injury can easily rupture it resulting in serious internal bleeding, hemorrhaging, circulatory shock, and even death. Once the spleen ruptures, the only remedy is to surgically remove it in a procedure called a splenectomy. What is the largest vein in the human body? The largest vein in the human body is the inferior vena cava. The vein that returns blood from the lower half of the body back to the heart.
How fast do eyelashes grow? Eyelashes are replaced every three months. An individual will grow about 600 complete eyelashes in a lifetime. Are fingernails and toenails the same thickness? No. Toenails are approximately twice as thick as fingernails. How fast do fingernails grow? Healthy nails grow about 0.12 inch, 3 millimeters, each month or 1.4 inches, 3.5 centimeters, each year. It takes approximately 3 months for a whole fingernail to be replaced. The middle fingernail grows the fastest. Because the longer the finger the faster its nail growth. The thumbnail grows the slowest. What is the basic unit of the brain? Neurons are the nerve cells that are the major constituent of the brain. At birth the brain has the maximum number of neurons 20 billion to 200 billion neurons. Thousands are lost daily, never to be replaced and apparently not missed. Until the cumulative loss builds up in very old age. What are the major divisions of the brain? The brain has four major divisions, one, brain stem, including the medulla oblongata, pons, and midbrain, two, cerebellum, three, cerebrum, and four, diencephalon. The diencephalon is further divided into the thalamus, hypothalamus, epithalamus, and ventral thalamus or subthalamus. Why does hair turn gray as part of the aging process? The pigment in hair, as well as in the skin, is called melanin. There are two types of melanin, eumelanin, which is dark brown or black, and pheomelanin, which is reddish yellow. Both are made by a type of cell called a melanocyte that resides in the hair bulb and along the bottom of the outer layer of skin or epidermis. The melanocytes pass this pigment to adjoining epidermal cells called keratinocytes, which produce the protein keratin hair's chief component. When the keratinocytes undergo their scheduled death, they retain the melanin. Thus, the pigment that is visible in the hair and in the skin lies in these dead keratinocyte bodies. Gray hair is simply hair with less melanin, and white hair has no melanin at all. It remains unclear as to how hair loses its pigment. In the early stages of graying, 
the melanocytes are still present but inactive. Later they seem to decrease in number. Genes control this lack of deposition of melanin. In some families, many members' hair turns white while they are still in their 20s. Generally speaking, among Caucasians 50% are gray by age 50. There is, however, wide variation. What is the largest nerve in the body? The sciatic nerve is the largest in the human body about as thick as a lead pencil 0.78 inch, 1.98 centimeters. It is a broad, flat nerve composed of fibers that run from the spinal cord to the back of each leg. Do fingernails and toenails grow at the same rate? Fingernails tend to grow a little faster than toenails. What is an organ? An organ is a group of several different tissues working together as a unit to perform a specific function or functions. Each organ performs functions that none of the component tissues can perform alone. This cooperative interaction of different tissues is a basic feature of animals, including humans. The heart is an example of an organ. It consists of cardiac muscle wrapped in connective tissue. The heart chambers are lined with epithelium. Nerve tissue controls the rhythmic contractions of the cardiac muscles. How is hair color determined? Genes determine hair color by directing the type and amount of pigment that epidermal melanocytes produce. If these cells produce an abundance of melanin, the hair is dark. If an intermediate quantity of pigment is produced, the hair is blonde. If no pigment is produced, the hair appears white. A mixture of pigmented and unpigmented hair is usually gray. Another pigment, trichocytorin, is found only in red hair. How much does human hair grow in a year? Each hair grows about 9 inches, 23 centimeters, every year. How large is the brain? The brain weighs about 3 pounds, 1.4 kilograms. The average brain has a volume of 71 cubic inches, 1,200 cubic centimeters. In general, the brain of males averages about 10% larger. 
than those of females due to overall differences in average body size. The brain contains approximately 100 billion neurons and 1 trillion neuroglia. There is no correlation between brain size and intelligence. How many hairs does the average person have on his or her head? The amount of hair on the head varies from one individual to another. An average person has about 100,000 hairs on their scalp. Blondes 140,000, brunettes 155,000, and redheads only 85,000. Most people shed between 50 to 100 hairs daily. What is the RH factor? In addition to the ABO system of blood types. Blood types can also be grouped by the rhesus factor, or RH factor, an inherited blood characteristic. Discovered independently in 1939 by Philip Levine, 1900 to 1987, and R.E. Stetson and in 1940 by Carl Landsteiner and A.S. Wiener. The RH system classifies blood as either having the RH factor or lacking it. Pregnant women are carefully screened for the RH factor. If a mother is found to be RH negative, the father is also screened. Parents with incompatible RH factors can lead to potentially fatal blood problems in newborn infants. The condition can be treated with a series of blood transfusions. Are both of the lungs identical? The lungs are cone-shaped organs in the thoracic cavity. The right lung consists of three lobes, right superior lobe, right middle lobe, and right inferior lobe, while the left lung has only two lobes. Left superior lobe and left inferior lobe, and is slightly smaller than the right lung. Although relatively large, each lung weighs only 1 pound, 2.2 kilograms. <laughs>